G'day guys, uh, welcome along. Uh, I'm sure you've all had those days where you had all the intention in the world to get out training, you had it planned, but you've just run out of time, things have come up, whatever it may be. Today has been one of those days for me. I did have a 90 minute uh, hill ride planned, but uh, had a few things come up, ran out of time completely. So I've really got two options on a day like today. Either one, miss my training, uh, tomorrow's another day, don't worry about it. Or two, try and get a session in that uh, makes it up uh, in the short amount of time that I do have available. So what I'm gonna do today is a session that uh, has been shown in the research to be as effective as 60 minutes of steady state riding. Uh, and it includes five or six 30 second maximal efforts with four and a half minutes of recovery between each interval. Now I've talked about this, uh, this, this type of training a lot previously in presentations and in other videos and I'll put some links uh, below to those videos so you can get a little bit more of the background uh, research into those types of sessions. But today, I uh, just sort of want to show you one uh, in the real life. To make this session a little bit more efficient and to maximize my time, during the four and a half minutes of recovery between the intervals, I'm not just going to recover, I'm going to perform some technique drills to work on my uh, pedaling efficiency as well. So sort of killing two birds with one stone today. Now this session can be done indoors like I am today, or it can be done out outdoors on the road or on the trails, completely up to you. Indoor environment's quite good for this session. It provides a very controlled environment um, for you to give a maximal effort during the 30 seconds. Um, and for me today, it's nice and easy. My bike's set up in the office, just jump on, away I go. If you are inside doing this session, make sure you've got some uh, good stuff to keep you motivated. Now, you probably can't see it, but down in front of me here, I've got my laptop with one of my favorite YouTube playlists with a whole lot of cycling action on it. I'm in some good tunes pumping through the uh, my headphones. It's crucial when you're inside because uh, your perceived exertion is a little bit different to when you're out on the bike. It always seems to hurt a bit more when you're indoors. So make sure you've got some good music or something good to watch so that you can really drive yourself hard. If you're out on the road, you'll find these intervals seem a little bit more easy. Just mentally able to push it a bit, a bit harder and, and don't suffer so much. And that's just to mainly do with the consistent workload that you've got on the indoor trainer. And you don't have that perception of moving, wind moving over you. You're just sitting there suffering as those legs and lungs start to burn. So, what we're doing, five minute warm up. Almost start through that now. Five minute warm up. Then we're doing five or six, see how we go. 30 second maximal efforts with four and a half minutes recovery between. And during those recovery periods, we're gonna do some uh, technique pedaling efficiency drills. So I'll just finish my warm up here and then we'll get into the first interval. Okay team, here we go. Interval number one. Now depending on what sort of training you've got, I'm on a magnetic trainer here, so I'm gonna add some resistance using the electromagnetic uh, dial here. If you've got a resistance trainer, just wind that resistance on. You want to add that resistance so your cadence drops somewhere around 75, so you've got quite a lot of load in the legs. And once we get that sort of resistance about right, legs are starting to slow down, starting to feel it, we're going to hit it hard as we can for 30 seconds. Here we go. Add some more resistance. 
And then we go for it. 30 seconds. And that's number one, back that resistance right back. Now oh, here it is. Back that resistance right back. And get into a nice, easy recovery zone. And we just gotta ride nice and steady for one minute. One minute. And then we're going to get into our first of our technique drills. So nice and easy. Catch that breath. That throws the heart right up there at 30 seconds. So nice and easy here. That's just gone one minute. We're going to get into our first technique drill, which is going to be a one-legged pedaling drill. So all we're going to, to do is unclip one of our legs, and we're just going to pedal with one leg. We want some resistance on there, not too much, but just so we're under control. Focus on a smooth circular pedal stroke through the bottom, kicking over the top. Then you go for one minute here. And then change over, opposite leg. We're going to repeat that twice, but the second time through, we're only going to go for 30 seconds. Only 30 seconds the second time. So if you've been keeping count, we've got one minute of recovery, one minute on the right leg, one minute on the left leg, and then we've doubled up 30 seconds on each. That brings us around, almost ready to crack into our next interval. So get ready for it. Next 30 second interval. Find that gearing. Find that resistance. Remember to drop, let that cadence drop. And then in three, two, one, 30 seconds. Give it everything. that resistance off. Find those gearing. One minute nice and easy. One minute nice and easy. This next technique drill, we're just going to focus on pulling through the bottom of our pedal stroke. So if you can imagine a clock face, 12 at the top, 6 at the bottom, we want to pull nice and smooth, focusing on that 4 o'clock, back to eight o'clock. So we're just focusing on that single aspect of our pedal stroke. Starting on one leg, focus, one minute, one minute on the other one. So we're not unclipping, keep both foot engaged, but just focus on pulling through the bottom as if we're scraping mud off our shoe. And once you've done one minute on one leg, Change it over, opposite leg, one minute. Once you've done those two one minute blocks, I want you to incorporate it, focusing on both legs, both smooth circular pedal strokes, pulling through that bottom section. Following into the integration of them, I want you to take your focus to a nice steady pedal stroke through the rest of the four and a half minute recovery interval before sprint. Number three, start finding that resistance, add that load on, change those gears as required. Here we 
got 30 seconds. Just spin it out nice and easy. One minute here, one minute. Our last technique drill that we looked at, we looked at pulling through the bottom of the pedal stroke, producing that deep spot down the bottom, around that six o'clock position if you're measuring a clock face. Now this next drill, we want to target the deep spot that occurs at the top of the pedal stroke, at the 12 o'clock position, if you're managing our clock face. So instead of scraping our foot through the bottom, I want to focus on kicking over the top of our pedal stroke. From about the 2 o'clock position, sorry, from about the 11 o'clock position to the 2 o'clock position. So add some resistance, find that gear ratio that gives you, allows you some uh, resistance on those pedals. And then just one leg at a time, focus kicking over the top. Don't worry about any other aspect of your pedal stroke, just kicking over that top of the pedal stroke. Once you've done one side for one minute, focus on the other. Once you've done one minute each leg, I just want you to take your focus to both legs, pulling through the bottom, kicking over the top. So rather than pushing down and pulling up, we're kicking and pulling, kicking, pulling. Think of a big oval this way rather than this way. Alrighty team, coming up to interval number four here. Again, loaded up, lots and lots of resistance on there. Focus on holding that core nice and stable throughout the entire interval. So all of that power gets transferred down into the pedals, helps you move forward in the real world. Remember, these need lots of load. If you're just spinning above about 115 uh, revolutions per minute with your cadence, you need more resistance, more load, higher gear. We're after power here, power. Remember, power is force, how hard you're pushing on the pedals, times velocity, how fast you're spinning the pedals. We need more load, so we get that power up. Here we go, add that resistance, select those gears. Wind it on, dial it up. Here we go. next technique drill as we're riding let us have quite a low gearing and low resistance okay so the effort comes quite easy on the legs not much resistance where what we could call spinning now from here what I want us to do is increase our cadence while maintaining a strong core so activate our core try and keep our upper body as still as possible and our cadence as fast as possible. And then relax. So we're doing about 20 second bursts here. It's really good to do a practice this in front of a mirror, uh, in front of a dark window, if it's night time so you can see your reflection, or in front of a camera even, with the display flipped around. The idea is to activate this core, sit heavy, heavy in the saddle so your upper body doesn't move. Any movement through the upper body is wasted. 
wasted energy. So, activate that core, spin it up again. We're gonna do one more of those in this rest period. One more. Already lock that core in. Strong upper body. Sit heavy in the saddle. Build it. Hold that core. Hold it, hold it. Here we go, interval number five. Ready to push it, find that resistance. Dial that gearing in. Here we go, 30 seconds. find that resistance for one final effort interval number six everything you've got leave it out there pour it on pour it on so find that gearing add that resistance on here we go wind it up one last effort 30 seconds Oh, well there we have it, six 30 second intervals, four and a half minutes of recovery with some technique drills incorporated during the recovery to help maximize your time spent on the bike on those days when you're a little bit pressed for time. What I'm going to do now is just a steady a four and a half minute warm down. If you had extra time up your sleeve towards the end of this ride, you could add on more efforts, you could perform some more technique drills, or you could just ride steady up to however long you've got. But today, I'm running pretty tight on time, so I'm gonna get this warm up out of the way and uh, get on with my day. Thanks for watching. Keep up the great work out there, trainee, and we'll see you later.